welcome to my home office tour. I work part-time for a dermatology office and part-time for myself doing social media, working from home on my own stuff. So I'm gonna start with my desk area and then we'll make our way towards the rest of the room. I have a couple of other areas in this office that I utilize. So here is what the office looks like from the door. We get some awesome natural light in the morning. So it's about 7.30 a.m. I wanted to get the best lighting for you guys. This is my husband AJ's side. He went for an all black theme, but I won't get into that. We have this joint storage system here. And then this side is my side, as well as the bike. Probably the most important part of any office is your desk. And I love my FlexiSpot standing desk. And it's really cool because it has some different USBs here and some height adjustment settings. So if I click on number one, it'll raise itself up to my preset height setting, which is so cool. Everything will be linked down below, so have no fear. But yes, definitely need a good standing desk. And I really personally like FlexiSpot. They have a bunch of different color options. Another important thing to have in your office is a computer of some sort. I have the MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'm going to read you the specs. Intel Core i9, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and graphics card and some other fancy stuff. As you can see, I have it on this riser. This I got from Amazon and I got it to match kind of the color of my computer and I just like it because it's eye level and I don't think it's good to be looking down so I highly recommend getting some kind of stand. Now obviously I don't like to type like this because that's a little bit out of my way so I do have the Apple keyboard. I got the one with the number keypad on the side just because I use this a lot. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's at least like 20 bucks more expensive, but I totally think it's worth it. Aesthetically, it looks good separated, but I do keep it up here. Not only does this give it a little bit of a tilt forward and it kind of leans it towards me, it also gives me a clearer workspace over here. So this worked out perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna lower myself back down. Okay, moving over to the left side of my desk, I have this iPad Pro and this Anchor 8-in-1 stand for it. This iPad is primarily AJ's, but we do share it, and I do enjoy editing pictures, especially for Instagram on there, just because it's a bigger surface, and this stand has been so helpful. So this stand is from Anchor, and I do have the privilege of working with them in today's video, and this is the coolest thing because you can tilt this thing to be at any angle that you want. So if you like it straight, if you like it flat, you can do whatever you want with this thing. This is the Anchor 551 USB-C hub. It's an eight-in-one tablet stand, and it's the ultimate multitasking hub for M1 iPads. It's the world's first USB-C hub that's also a foldable stand designed for M1 iPads. It has an HDMI to hook your iPad up to an external monitor up to 4K at 60Hz. And it comes with this cable, so this plugs into the base and then this plugs into your iPad. So on the back we have our charging input, and on the other side we have an HDMI. If I turn it over we have an SD card reader. This is where the mother cable plugs in here, and then we also have a micro SD card reader. Turning it around we have two USB-A data ports, and then we have an audio port over here. So this thing does wonders. So not only does it make editing photos and videos super easy, it also has the high speed charging as I mentioned before and it just makes working super fast and efficient. What's really cool is that when you're done, you just fold it and store it. If you're traveling or you want to take it with you, it compacts down into this tiny little thing which I think is so cool. So if you're looking for hubs or docking stations for your Apple M1 devices, the Anchor 8-in-1 tablet stand for your iPad Pro with unrivaled performance will definitely meet your needs. Once again, this is the ultimate multitasking hub for M1 iPads and it's the world's first USB-C hub that's also a foldable stand designed for M1 iPads. So make sure to check out the Anchor 8-in-1 stand down below. Such an amazing product, such an amazing brand, especially if you enjoy Apple products. Thank you Anchor for supporting this video. Okay, the next thing is my Logitech mouse. I personally love Logitech when it comes to mouses or mice because I just think it's really ergonomic and affordable. Mine has the two buttons on the side and you can also push down this center button and it comes with an app on your computer where you can program different settings. Would the Apple mouse look great next to my Apple keyboard? Absolutely, but I just find that it's not as comfortable as the Logitech. I like the curve and the feel of the Logitech and 
I couldn't find a white one that was less than like $150 from Logitech, so we're settling with the black, but it's fine. I really don't mind. When it comes down to it, I prefer to have comfort and quality over aesthetics, although I do like to balance them pretty good. All right, the next thing I have is my cute little pen holder. I just got this on Amazon. It was about 10 bucks or so. I really like the green pattern. It also comes in different colors and I just keep my felt tip markers in here. I just find it really fun to use different colors when taking notes or doing a to-do list. It just makes life a little bit more enjoyable. It makes working a little bit more fun. So I do have all of these over here and I'll show you where I keep my like more practical pens in a minute. Finishing up on this side of the desk, I just keep a notebook. If you watch my videos, you know I love to-do lists and I have so many notebooks, so I normally just like to keep one on top of my desk. I also wanted to show you that I run my charging cables through the back and I plug in my, oh wait, that's for my laptop. So I use the same one for my laptop and my iPad, which is nice. And then I also have this one, which is for the Apple keyboard. I run it through the back. That way my clutter is really minimal on the front end. Like look how good that looks. And I can even push it all the way back if I wanna store it and not look at it. But I love that. I basically keep it charging all of the time. Okay, so the really cool thing about my Flexi Spot desk is that it has a drawer, which comes in handy for all of my journals. I also have a hard drive over here and I keep some extra blue light glasses. These are just from Felix Gray. Okay, coming to under the desk, I have not figured out the best solution to store these cables. However, I do have this little white power box. I will probably mount it up here. That way it's just not on the floor, but I don't think this is too bad anyway. The only thing I wish I could change is this power cable for the desk. I wish it was white, but I can probably paint that myself. So we'll work on that another day. Hi, Vinny. Okay, so if we look at the floor, I have this little plastic cover from Amazon, and I also also got one for AJ's side. Again, I just got these from Amazon. All right, and then let's talk about my chair. So this is from Staples, and we do both have the same exact chair. It is super ergonomic, and I do love the headrest, but you see how it makes that noise? It makes a noise sometimes, I promise. So I am looking for a new chair sometime in the next year. I'm not in a rush because this one is really comfortable. You see? It just made the noise. AJ needs a new chair anyway, so I'm gonna give him this one and then, because his makes so much louder noise, like I can hear it from the bedroom. And then I'll find a cuter one for myself. Okay, I think that wraps up the desk area. Above the desk, we just have a window, which is perfect because I love natural lighting. And then we also have a window over here. So to the right of the desk, we have this closet. We put this built-in system in ourselves. This is from Wayfair. And I just keep all of my brand products and miscellaneous work supplies in here because I have so many different products that I need to keep track of. And then I got this curtain off of Amazon and I cut it myself because it was too long because our closet is like a custom size and the quote to get a closet door was like 1800. And I was like, I'm not doing that. So I think the curtain looks fine. It's white, it blends in. And then over here we have my spin bike. This bike is by MYX Fitness or Mix Fitness and I love this bike. Not only does it have spin classes on here, but it has like workout classes, stretching classes, Pilates classes, and I love it. Such a cute aesthetic bike, such an amazing brand. So yeah, we just have that over here and then we have a little bit of space by the door. We do have a lot of space here, which is nice because it doesn't feel crowded. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here because this is kind of where my site starts and then we'll finish over here. So we have this HP printer. I honestly chose this for aesthetics mainly. It's so cute. And then this thing is from Ikea. It's just the Calyx system. And then we got drawers, a door, drawers, and a door. So we each have two drawers and a door. I do keep a candle here just because this space was empty and I had this candle. And then this cute little picture of AJ and I in our high school graduation. This is the original frame and I'm obsessed with this picture. And then we just have these shades. Eventually I wanna change them to like nicer roller shades, but all right, and then this is my favorite little corner here. On this end, I have an extra dining chair and I just leave it here because we do podcast, me and Anna, so it's nice to have a chair 
really close by. I just have a pillow here because this chair is like wired and it's not very comfortable if you can tell. And then I also keep a throw blanket because I often get really cold as I'm editing so I like to have that close by. This ledge is from the container store and I love it because it just kind of blends in and I can change the picture frame whenever I want because I do get tired of it very quickly. I know a lot of you guys don't like this painting that I chose. I got this from the thrift store. I personally think it's really cute but I totally understand if it's not your style. Um, it's just like a really cute vintage little photo. And then I also keep my film camera up here. I just got this on Amazon as well. I just like to keep it here not only because it's cute but it reminds me to take photos. And then probably my favorite part of my office is this little rolling book cart. This is from Ikea. It's about $30 and I love the way it looks. I just keep all of my books down here. This is like 99% of the books that I own. I personally like to limit my book collection to whatever can fit in here. I normally read mostly on my Kindle, so I don't have too many physical books. And then if I do, I can give them away to family, friends, thrift stores, you know what I mean. And then in the back of the first row of books, I do keep an extra pen cup holder with like highlighters and pencils and pens. And then I also keep like a claw clip and some other things that I use. I like it because it's hidden, you can't see it. I'd rather keep the cute one on display and then keep this one kind of tucked away. So yeah, that is basically my side of our office. There are a few things that I wanna work on, as I mentioned, but overall, I'm really happy with this space. The most important thing in your home office is that it works for you. So some of these things may not work for you and some of them you may be like, oh, I wanna try that. So just make it your style, make it unique to you. Don't feel like you have to follow any trends or aesthetics because what matters most is you getting your work done in good spirits and efficiently. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you want to see from me. As I mentioned before, I do have a podcast and I also have an Instagram if you want to follow me there. I post a lot of work vlogs, productivity vlogs, get it done with me vlogs. So if you want to see that, make sure to stick around. And don't forget to check out Anchor. Love their products, love their brand. So many efficient tools that can make your workspace so much more efficient, aesthetic, and just remove some of the frustration of working. Working is so hard as it is, so might as well make it easy with tools and gadgets that help you perform at your best. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.